they would hate to be kind. It has a very deep. What does this mean? Into the fight to love Allah and His Messenger more than anyone and everyone else, more than anything and everything else. The second quality to love a brother solely for the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Nothing draws you to him or her besides the fact that they are believers trying to earn the pleasure of Allah. Therefore, we love them. Sometimes we love a person because we know this person is head of HR. So we are perhaps going to get a job through them. So, salamu alaikum, how are you, my brother? That smile is not for Islam. It's because they're of the position. Sometimes we have a person who is very wealthy and we greet them. Salam is because of the real and the dollar, not because of the Islam. Sometimes a person is very good looking and so we greet them. Salam, a very popular person. Salam. But what about the millions that you come across on a daily basis? Then no salam? How can that be? May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us people who can utter the word salam. It is free. It does not need a battery in your throat in order to say assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah and it will earn you the pleasure of Allah the smile on your face is free it is cheaper than frowning believe me in terms of muscular use and at the same time you are earning the opportunity to taste the sweetness of Iman and Islam most of us perhaps maybe not most but a lot of us we don't even know our neighbors where we live because we are now living in an age where we have forgotten to love one another for the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah open our doors. The third quality, an yakraha an ya'uda ilal kufr kama yakrahu an yulqa fin nar. The person who hates to return to disbelief in the same way they would hate to be cast into the fire. What does this mean? It has a very deep meaning. Every one of us is on a spiritual journey. Every day should be better than the previous day. We should hate to go back to the ignorance of the previous day in the same way we hate to be thrown into the fire. So if someone was a total disbeliever and they entered the fold of Islam, they should dislike to go back in the same way they would dislike to be cast into hellfire. And if someone were a Muslim or they have accepted Islam and they are progressing, so from a position of not being able or not reading five salah a day, coming to a position of reading five salah a day, that is a great achievement. When we look at that achievement, we should look back and tell ourselves, I'm never ever going to miss a single prayer again. And I hate going back on my achievement in the same way that I hate being cast into hellfire. That is when we will be able to taste the sweetness of Iman. For example, a sister who might not have been donning the hijab. And after some time, she became a little bit higher spiritually. She should, she should dislike to go back on that achievement. This is why we say, brothers and sisters, when you have achieved something good in terms of your link with Allah and His Rasul, and in terms of your spirituality, you should never ever go back on that. This is why Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, خَيْرُ الْعَمَلِ مَا دِيمَ عَلَيْهِ وَإِن قَلَّتْ the best of deeds are those which are done regularly, even if they are less. Because what is the point of someone? One day he is a saint. He reads all his five salah with the sunnah and the nafila and the extra salah. And the next day there is no salah at all. What's the point of that? Rather you read with consistency. What's the point of a man who reads the Quran? And he reads the Quran only in the month of Ramadan. Once Ramadan ends, he closes it in onto the shelf until the next Ramadan. Yesterday, I received a message from someone and I thought it was interesting. They say, nowadays you can tell when a person is online, when it comes to the social media. So if you look at the WhatsApp, you see online two minutes ago. When you look at the BBM online five minutes ago, when you look at, for example, the Viber online one minute ago, when you look at Skype, they are online right now. When you look at the Quran, they were online last Ramadan. Allahu Akbar. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us. It's a reality. We have more time for our social media than we have for Allah. Yet when you die, your phone is offline, your Viber is offline, your WhatsApp is offline, your BBM is offline, your Quran will be online at that time. Why? Because your a'mal, your deeds will come with you to your grave, not your phone. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us and open our doors and our understanding.